built on a rich tradition where world-class healthcare professionals are developed with the skill to heal and the spirit to care. Adventist University of Health Sciences has become the premier choice for students called to become compassionate caregivers. I don't want to be an ordinary provider. I want to be an extraordinary provider. Located in Orlando, Florida, beside one of the largest hospitals in the world, ADU's partnership with Florida Hospital gives students unparalleled access to clinical opportunities in state-of-the-art facilities where students receive hands-on learning from distinguished faculty inside ADU's leading edge simulation centers. The education that I received at ADU um, provided me with a solid foundation to be a compassionate, skilled caregiver and nursing leader. ADU is more than academics. It's a university with a unique mission, a mission to develop skilled professionals who live the healing values of Christ. Every Everything about this school has changed my life. Everything about this school has just been the most amazing experience. And after 25 years, Adventist University of Health Sciences continues to shape the lives of its students who go on to provide the best possible care to every patient, every time. Twenty-five years ago, it was a very different environment. Florida Hospital had three hospitals, Altamont, Apopka, and South. They were struggling to make ends meet financially. Things were difficult. Everybody was trying to save money for whatever they could. And Tom Warner, then president of Florida Hospital, decided that the future of the entire organization needed to make sure that they had a steady stream of employees who understood what faith-based health care was supposed to be about. I had the privilege of being in the chair when some other people suggested that the hospital would do well to take a look at the various education programs that it had that were associated with a variety of different entities and, and bring them into one. There was a time when some of the people at Florida Hospital really felt that you shouldn't waste the kind of money it was necessary to get a university started. It took money. This is one of those things that was actually essential. It wasn't optional. You do healthcare through people. Everything happens through the touch of one person with another person. And if you're gonna do it, and you're gonna do it with the right mission, you have to train the right people to do it. Well, one of the interesting things about what was at that time Florida Hospital College is that we were really piecing together a number of educational programs that Florida Has Hospital had had for almost 100 years. That was really a brilliant sort of plan on Tom Warner's part, who was the president of Florida Hospital. He knew he had these various programs there, each kind of in their own little silo, and most of them, all but one, were not college level. So the idea of raising it to a college level, building on the pipelines that were already there in the re the, re the reputation that was already there was also a very important thing. Registration came in August of 1992. That was the day that Hurricane Andrew hit South Florida. We weren't sure that we'd get anybody to show up, but we had a lot of students. Well, here we are, registration. Uh, Hurricane Andrew has not affected us at all. As you can tell, there's still, we've already seen quite a few students in there registering. Uh, you might be able to hear the flag waving in the background and uh, the rain's coming down now. It has not affected us at all. The students are just as excited. They could care less about what Andrew's doing. It's raining outside and here comes 243 people ultimately. A lot of the students coming in were coming in after we had some rain squalls go by and nobody was expecting it so they were basically all wet. It was just this excitement that we have started something and people actually we built it and they came. You know, so it was our field of dreams in a sense. And then to see faculty, staff, not many of us, doing everything. Taking credit cards, uh, helping people figure out what classes they ought to take, selling books. All of those things took place that day in one central location. It was wonderful. It was a very exciting day and, and I think surprising, but then not surprising 
because of course, who wouldn't want to come to a college that was part of the Florida hospital system? As we started growing, getting more students, then it was, became obvious that we needed to expand our offerings. We went from two-year to four-year nursing. Uh, we've added several graduate uh, classes, which put us in the category of university, and that all happened a lot faster than most colleges uh, see in their progression. Things don't grow as quickly as they have grown here. In 25 years of transition from a consolidation of programs to a university, and that's the, a pretty amazing thing. One of the things that I've seen the most is, that I've been most impressed with, is the evolution of the facilities. That's gone far further than I thought it would. We have a campus in Denver that we've developed. We polycom our classes to Denver, and our students in Denver do their clinicals at the five Adventist hospitals in Denver. We had one of the first simulated human patients, and I think that we have been on the cutting edge of what education is as well. For example, we were one of the first into distance education. Dr. Greenlaw and our academic dean back in 2000 thought that we should spread our message, but in the online arena. So back in 2000, when, when this organization decided it was, it was gonna enter the distance learning marketplace and go online, um, there were, those were distinct, different modalities of, of education. Before ADU came into the picture with online education, there weren't any existing completion programs in the radiologic sciences, so we broke that barrier. We created that model and that mold for online education in the radiologic sciences field. Many times the students, we'd have to coach them and help assist and just educating them on just even how to turn on a computer and log on and, and those kinds of things. So it was very new back in 2000. There are now many competitors who choose to emulate what we did. And in fact, that's kind of a compliment because we did it well. And by doing that first program as a completion program, we were able to then grow multiple programs uh, because we had a customer that was confident in the education we were delivering. In the fall of 92, ADU began with just four Associate of Science degrees and in 1998 added its first Bachelor of Science degree in nursing. By 2008, the university saw substantial growth with the addition of its first graduate degree program in nurse anesthesia. And in 2016, ADU added its first doctoral degree program in physical therapy. Now, at its 25th anniversary, ADU offers over 20 programs from associate to doctoral degrees and will continue to evolve in order to meet the needs of the advancing healthcare industry. ADU began investigating the idea of a physical therapy program in 2013, looking at the demographics in the area and the state of Florida only has 10 physical therapist education programs, just one in the Orlando area, so definitely a need. We recognize the importance of advancing knowledge, advancing contributions to the practice of health care. One thing that's interesting with ADU is that it was built on this peninsula. Now, there were many advantages of that because it was right in the shadow of the place where the clinical experience is going to happen, and, and that's crucial. ADU is in the center of health village, we call it here, which obviously has proximity to the hospital, but more than that, it's a whole living urban community and environment that is just infused with both healthcare and learning and innovation and creativity. So there's a vibrancy to this setting. The working relationship between ADU and Florida Hospital is just you know, almost one of a kind. And when the students have gone through their educational program and, and their clinical rotations at the hospital, when they join the workforce, it's not like you have a, a new individual. You have a seasoned person who understands and supports the culture of the organization, uh, knows how it works from a, a, a clinical perspective, and I think the effectiveness level is significantly increased. We have a corner on the clinical market. <laughs> I mean, just if you want to look at the resources this institution has for our clinical opportunities for students, uh, all you have to do is look at Florida Hospital. And our students have first opportunity at clinicals. 
We had a lot of hands-on clinical experience. That was another reason why I had picked ADU versus um, another college uh, that had a nursing program. All of our clinicals were at Florida Hospital, which was a draw for me because that's where I knew I wanted to work. We had a simulation lab. We did a lot of our training in the sim lab before we went in and did it on real patients. So that gave us confidence when we built that before we actually went into a patient's room. The establishment of key centers of excellence whether it would be the Center for Advanced Ultrasound Education or the Center for Population Health, both of those institutions or institutes that are, have been recently established to contribute uh, to the field, to training others, as well as to advancing knowledge uh, through research and through highly trained uh, education opportunities. And that's one of the great things about ADU, is that, yes, we're looking at research. Oh, research, okay. Oh, but we have educating. Educating is really hard. It's not just talking, okay? Research, professional service, and mentoring. So one of the aspects about why the Institute is mentoring, mentoring of who? Well, students. And if we mentor them, not only to do their research, but able to convey that to a lay audience, to the general community around them, I think that's a really powerful thing. There's nothing that's not first class about this um, organization. Their focus on quality, the quality of the programs, that the students have the right tools to do the job and to learn the latest in terms of uh, clinical and technological support in terms of medical conditions as well as uh, medical equipment is all here. We've tried to keep ahead of what are the best learning tools and techniques that we can give to our students so that they can be successful. We are lucky that we have a wonderful group of highly trained, committed faculty on this campus. We're small enough to care for you and not get lost in large crowds. We're small enough to give special attention to your education, to your social, to your spiritual needs. And that stands ADU apart. The class sizes were very small, so you had very personal interactions with your professors and the faculty. I don't just feel like a student, like it feels like a family. The campus is small and it's just such a nice feeling for people to recognize you and see you as more than like a number. We do have support systems on campus. We have the Center for Academic Achievement where we have counselors, coaches, individuals who are dedicated to ensuring that students who are experiencing some difficulties, which we always do, will find support, will find help uh, if you need support in whatever areas of life. The chaplains, they, I mean, they will go above and beyond to talk to you with any issues you have going on in life, and they'll just try to keep you motivated and not, their goal is to not let you feel where you have to drop out or leave your program. So they really just encourage you with words and prayer and anything that you need just to keep you going. I've always felt the warmth from my ADU family. I've always been able to lean on them and without them, without the support, without the professors, without the staff and faculty, I would have crumbled, I would have gave up, and I've always had the ADU family to support me. An incident happened to me at home. I came to school and I had, I didn't know at the time, but my ribs were broken. I went into class and I didn't want to go to school by all means, but I knew that I had to. My professor could tell that I was upset. So after class, my professor came up to me and um, asked me what happened and, and I told, I told her and I said, and so she took me over to the hospital. We waited, we got the results and showed that I did have um, a broken rib. So after that, it was, it was hard because I couldn't move my hand, my arm. Um, I have a little boy at home and it was just, it came down to, you know, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna take care of my, my responsibility at home? So I thought back to the day that I first came to ADU I was in the orientation, first time ever on campus. I remember the chaplains coming up there and talking to us and saying, 
we have this program, the grace program, and if you ever come into a situation where you need help, that's what it's there for. The Grace Fund's a, a phenomenal ministry on this campus. I've never seen anything like it in my, my years of youth ministries. Uh, doctors, physicians, or rather uh, nurses, healthcare workers from the hospital, faculty from here, uh, they contribute to this Grace Fund. The Grace Fund support, the scholarship support, is that infrastructure that allows that education to happen. So our faculty obviously are living the mission. They're caring enough for the students that they can ensure that the students continue with that education. And I've watched over the years about thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars a year goes out to help students that are in a rock and a hard place. I watched them walk out of my office in tears, not even believing there's such a fund that exists. If I didn't have the Grace Fund at that time, me and my son wouldn't have had a place to live. It just it it covered everything that I needed, and I, I don't know what I would have done without it. If you're not there for them, then creating a community is just an idea. If you're not, then training students to, to engage in a health care as a ministry is just a slogan. The added value of ADU is because mission is integrated into everything that we do. We hold very dear the example that Christ brought to us when he walked in this world and the values that he exemplified, values of compassion, of forgiveness, values of attentive care to those that are least among us. You're not just doing a job, you're not just getting a paycheck, you're actually absolutely impacting people on their faith journey. That's what makes it so important. With this school teaching um, this ministry and, and this concept of treating the whole body and the whole spirit as a whole person really helps me to make that connection with my patient and heal them completely and fully. We had an incident that occurred where the whole staff came out from all different offices on the floor that, that my class was on and they just prayed for one of the students in my class and it was so touching and so I feel like they just they're always extending it. They're always reaching that mission that they have. Being a community, being faith-based, you're going to have to serve. So that service component is, is actually woven into the curriculum of many classes. At the university, we spend on average 20,000 hours a year serving the community, both through service learning and through campus-wide volunteerism. The university places an importance on service because it is who we are as a university. It's a good feeling for us knowing that after all this studying we've done, we're actually doing something good for the community and hopefully they're going to take something back from that as well. The Hope Clinic is a dream clinic. It's the way that ADU serves the community and provides no-cost services to patients that are underserved and there are a need at occupational therapy services. And in that process, we also help the students to understand healthcare as a ministry. It really stands for healing through occupation, purpose, and excellence is how it was created originally. Right now, we offer physical and occupational therapy, and eventually we're gonna be adding nursing care services, uh, physician assistant services to people that either don't have any insurance or who are underinsured for the services that they need. At our university, our mission is what drives our school being here in the first place, so we want those students right out walking side by side with those clients who, um, who need our help the most. This is what ADU looks like on its 25th anniversary. A university dedicated to educating its students, serving its community, and living its mission. And this is only the beginning. I believe that this place is at a particular crossroads moment. It's limitless in its potential to be an institution that builds on its past. It will need to be one of those leading healthcare universities that says we get what healthcare needs. We're facing healthcare environments that are rapidly changing, requiring us to develop new programs. I think that we are going to, if we have not already, we are going to gain national recognition for um, our graduates and for the programs that we provide. I see the most prestigious, most advanced, Health Science and Nursing University 
in the whole southeastern United States. That's what I see. The past 25 years have been nothing short of amazing. And the next 25 years, well, you'll just have to wait and see.